Hey everybody, how are you? Jim Prusak here from The Pain PT. If you guys enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining my groups or having individual sessions, consultations, just go to thepainpt.com. You can find out more information there. Today we're gonna to talk about, are your patterns hurting you? Are your patterns hurting you? And your patterns are something that are inside of you, something that you are operating from, you are acting off, you are behaving off, you are doing on a daily basis. So are your patterns hurting you? And what we want to look at is to see what it is about you. Can you personally, your personality, the way you think, the way you behave, the way you act, because that could have an influence on how you feel, okay? So these are called internal drivers of stress. Internal drivers come from yourself. And in reality, everything is an internal reaction. Even if there's another person involved who causes or a situation external to, external to us in the world that causes something to happen in us, it's happening from our brain into our bodies. Our patterns in particular are something that we have a habit of doing. So there are certain personality traits and patterns that we see in people that have a tendency or commonality who have somatic symptoms in the body. They have a tendency to have chronic somatic symptoms. I'll go over a couple of these here today and you can be looking out for yourself to see what your patterns are that could be hurting you, literally giving you a pain or giving you some type of symptom. So some of the personality traits that Dr. Sarno had alluded to are things we want to be looking out for in ourselves. And these things could be such as we're very perfectionistic. We tend to put a lot of pressure on ourselves to make something perfect to make it correct, to make it right. And there's not a lot of room for error, for mistakes. And so perfectionism is one thing that people do that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on us to make sure it's right or to get it right. And in, in doing that, we actually are potentially creating a storm of stress chemicals in ourselves that can then kick up or contribute to a somatic symptom starting. And this is something we do again. And these traits of personality, they have been learned and molded and shaped since our childhood. Okay, and we'll go over some reasons again why we do these things. But that is one of them is a perfectionistic type of living or attitude or being. Too much of that is not going to be good for you. What else? Well, on the other end is people pleasing and appeasing. Okay, this goodism. And, and this is when you were actually, again, not being our authentic selves. We're giving away our true nature. We're not, we're not basically sharing our true nature or our true feelings. We end up pleasing the other person or appeasing other people to get our needs met. Okay, so we don't feel rejected or we don't feel abandoned or put down or criticized. So what we do is we try to please the other person or we, we be extra nice to people so that we get that back. So we don't get any kind of criticism back. But in doing that, we're not honest. We're not sharing our true feelings. We tend to be nice when maybe we're actually upset or angry. And we're doing this out of fear. And it's again, a fear of rejection, a fear of not being accepted, fear of abandonment. Okay, we do a lot of these personality traits out of the same emotions, which starts with a fear. Okay, even perfectionism is a fear of not being enough, fear of not doing a good enough job. And all these traits, I've mentioned this before on the channel, and I'll mention it again now, that the traits that I'm alluding to now are based in shame, shame. Again, they're learned from childhood. It's an emotion that we don't wanna feel, but it's one we need to feel to heal, all right? We wanna feel all our feelings, allow them to pass, 
make peace with them, be okay with them, have compassion for them because they're just emotions. And certain ones like shame and anxiety are quite toxic and they can keep us stuck in these patterns I'm talking about that hurt us. So these underlying emotions keep us stuck in the patterns that hurt us. Okay, so perfectionism, people pleasing, appeasing, goodism, over conscientiousness, rule follower, things like that by the book, Again, no room for error, no room for error. We'll be upset about other people who are not doing that. We'll feel angry and resentful when that happens. So that's not going to help us either in that personality trait. So we need to look out for anything that we are not being authentic or overdoing. Even if there seem to be good things, these things can put tremendous pressure into our system. And that could be one of the patterns that you're doing daily. Some other things that come to mind are rushing around, um, racing around, uh, being ADHD type stuff, always having to be on the go, racing mind, can't sit still. That's also fits in with an anxiety type person. That, that could be hurting us too, that pattern, because we can't sit still, we can't slow down. We can't relax. Well, we could be very impatient. I want things now. I want things our way. Uh, have a hard time slowing down. Okay, so we want to see if that exists for you. That could potentially be hurting you as well through the stress it creates in yourself. What else? Well, there's lots here that we could we could talk about. If you're a person who is always criticizing yourself and putting yourself down and being hard on yourself, berating yourself, what we call self-criticism, being very self-critical, uh, demanding of yourself. That also is a pattern we have that's hurting us. That is directly hurting us because we are bringing anger into us. We're being angry at ourselves, something we want to look for and catch if we're doing that because that can be a contributing factor to the symptoms that you're having in yourself. So these patterns, these patterns in you that maybe you're doing, okay, maybe you're trying too hard and you're forcing and you're pushing and you're, and you're giving too much, okay, too much. That's another pattern we see in people. And that pattern could be one that people feel like they have to do everything. They do more and more and more. And that's not going to work either because that's also putting pressure and stress on our systems when what we're trying to do is teach and show and nurture our brain and nervous system that we're okay. We're okay. We're all right. We're safe. We're secure. We don't need to be doing as much of these things anymore. We're all right. So we actually want to let go and soften and abandon some of these patterns that we're doing because we don't need to do that. They've been learned, they're in us, they're programmed in a way it's what we do automatically, but we want to consciously start to pull away from some of these patterns because they're detrimental to our well-being, detrimental to our, our health. What are some other patterns? Well, people have a tendency to uh, hold in emotions at times. And that's a pattern for some people. They suppress or repress emotion. They don't express emotion, various types of emotions. And maybe that's something you do. Or maybe you're overly emotionally reactive. You're a highly sensitive person and you overreact to everything, constantly reacting to things very easily, getting worked up over things very easily. That might be another pattern you have, one or both of those patterns there that you want to look at that maybe aren't serving you and could be contributing to your somatic symptoms. Okay, so we have all these patterns that we have. People have patterns of thought. They're always thinking to the negative. Their glass is half empty. Everything's negative. Something bad's going to happen. What if this? So very anxious uh, cognitive mind, okay, catastrophizing, you could say. That might be a pattern that you also want to look for in yourself that's hurting you, that's just dumping stress 
into your system, the future. You're worried about all these things. Worried about your body. You're worried about the symptoms. You're worried about what's going to happen. Okay, this is another one that you want to look at if it's happening for you. Okay, so whatever your patterns are, we want to address, you know, and we want to make some changes there. Just like if somebody had an anger management problem, okay, which is not quite as common in TMS conditions. Sometimes it is if the person is overly angry all the time, but somebody who gets angry easily and blows up, they're going to have to learn to say, okay, Calm down, count to 10, take a few breaths, pause, think before you speak. Okay, they're going to have to learn to, to bring the anger down and manage that. In the same way, you might have to learn to speak up or you might need to learn to, to, to manage your anxiety that's ramping up because all these things are creating, again, excessive stress internally. And the patterns that we've learned, again, most of them have come from childhood and they've been molded and shaped and now they're automatic. They're, you can say they're, they're autonomic. They're in the autonomic nervous system. They're happening uh, on a regular basis. And so unless we're aware of them, which is again, your first step to, to seeing this, you need to know what your patterns are. That's your first step. And then once you know that, then you can start making some shifts and changes and catching it seeing if you can pull back from the pattern that's in you that dumps more stress and potentially dumps more symptoms into your, to your body from your brain. Okay, everybody. So let's work on these patterns that are potentially hurting you. There's many, there's more than what I mentioned today, but I'm just going to leave it at that for now. Um, I go over more of these with people individually as I talk to people is to learn what are your patterns that I could see in you, that you could see in yourself that aren't helping you, they're hurting you, okay? If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I'm looking to continue to, to reach more people with this work, still not well known in the community that our brains, our nervous systems contribute and drive a number of somatic symptoms in the body through the mechanisms I mentioned here on the channel. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, pass the word around. Again, if you're looking for coaching support, you want an assessment to determine if you have a mind-body condition, you have TMS, reach out to me. You can go to thepainpt.com. I also offer group coaching, two hours a week, where we go through questions and answers of people. And then we go through some material around some strategies you want to use, and we do some somatic practice as well. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and we'll connect with you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.